Hey everybody, this is Chris Casamassa, Scorpion from the Mortal Kombat film, and you're watching The Sanatorium with Leatherface. This is Officer Bird, and we're traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. At the signpost up ahead, your next stop, the sanitarium. With the leather face. With the leather face. Welcome to the sanitarium. I'm your host, Leather Face. Nine o'clock here on the East Coast, out of Roxboro, North Carolina. <clears throat> so, guest, a special guest tonight. We just had a Mortal Kombat special last Monday, but it looks like we're going to have a Mortal Kombat Monday tonight as well. We got Carrie Ann, aka Sonya Blade. Probably remember her off Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat 4, also the Mortal Kombat trilogies, I believe Sub Zero. Yeah, Sub Zero. Another one of my favorite games, Killer Instinct. I believe she was in the last version for Xbox, not the original, but the 2000. 14, I believe, the 2013 version. Should be here live here shortly. <clears throat> We're on the um, Off the Hook Network. Sponsored by Out Loud Entertainment. Arena Fudge Factory. Wrestle Shoot Radio. Wrangler Days Trailer Park. And some other fine Purple Stakey podcast. Some of our other podcasts here on the Off the Hook Network. So, we're going to go ahead and go into our first commercial from Urena Sweat Factory. And I'll be back with a video introducing Carrie Ann Sonia Blade here on the sanitarium. Shake and bake. The best fudge comes from Uranus. Oh, oh, oh. Uranus, Missouri. <laughs> that felt good. Tastes even better. <laughs> wow. Deep in the crack of America's heartland, the citizens of Uranus are bursting to give you their amazing fudge. That's right, fudge from Uranus. I'm not fudging with you. We're literally in Uranus. 
That's the mayor of Uranus, and you can get your fudge out the back door at UranusGeneralStore.com. And we're not fudging with you. I'm as serious as a fudging horse kick to the side of your fudging head. I am as serious as forgetting your fudging anniversary. I'm serious as skin marks on your fudging undies. I'm serious as fudging a pregnancy test. I'm serious as fudging the presidential election. I'm serious as fudging the bar exam. Uranus squeezes out so many different fudges that they have a fudge for everyone. They got blueberry fudge, chocolate fudge, vanilla fudge, chocolate pecan fudge, mint chocolate fudge, cookies and cream fudge, peanut butter fudge, M&M fudge, toffee bar fudge. There's a fudge for everyone. <laughs> right now I'm making the mayor's number two favorite flavor of fudge. <laughs> you can try some at UranusGeneralStore.com. Click now. That is some yummy fudge from Uranus. The best fudge does come from Uranus, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> That's my dad. Go to UranusGeneralStore.com and order the best fudge and fudge this side of the Mississippi. And the other fudge inside too. We can't contain it anymore. Uranus is about to explode across your screen and your front door. Ooh, fudge! Quit prairie dogging and order the best fudging fudge ever. Hey, Mr. Prairie Dog. So if digging for fudge in Uranus isn't your thing, then bring your fingers over here. Uranus offers a lot more than fudge. They got fudge and magnets. They got fudging hats and the hottest fudging calendars of Uranus you've ever fudging seen. Ooh, <laughs> that's cool. But if you ask me what the best part about Uranus is, other than the fudge in Uranus, it's the fudging shirts. <laughs> fudge not, lest ye be fudged first. Fudge, 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 fudge. Want to see more of Uranus? Come see the amazing attractions like the Moonicorn Creamery and Funnel Cakery. Fudge it great. Escape Uranus Escape Rooms! Fudge Horrific! Uranus Psych Show Museum! Hot Fudge! Chicken Bones Party Bar Grill! Fudge, yeah! So quit fudging around! How many more times do I need to say fudge to get you order some fudge and fudge? Seriously, Uranus can't hold this fudge forever, so you might as well order some fudge today, for fudge sakes. Go to UranusGeneralStore.com and order your fudge today! Or come down here and drop some deuces yourself! Peace! <laughs> Welcome to Uranus! Let's make Uranus great again. Fudge, yeah! Fudge, 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 fudge! <laughs> fudge! So getting the call for MK, um, they said we're doing, you know, this... I had, I had no idea. I, I know there was like two games that came out before, but I had no idea what Mortal Kombat was or anything. And then they asked me to do this, and it, they said, do you know any karate? And I said, oh yeah, I know a lot. And I, I really didn't. But I said, as long as you got somebody on the side showing me some moves, I can copy them. There you have it, folks. Carrie Ann, a Sonya Blade. I'm going to go ahead and bring her on right now. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. How you doing? Hi, thanks for having me. Welcome to the sanitarium where a bunch of madness and craziness happens. Yeah, I have to say that's <laughs> one of the most different intros I've ever seen. <laughs> well, thank you. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> it's awesome. So, <clears throat> yeah, last week we had um, Chris Casamasa on. I've interviewed some pretty intimidating people and some oddballs. But he was, I think he's, I think he's really Scorpion broadcasting from the outworld. <laughs> it was almost like interviewing Stoney, our Tony Stark from Iron Man. As well, his posture, his demeanor, just totally reminded me of, he shouldn't be playing in Batman, he should be playing Iron Man. Yeah. That dude, that dude was pretty cool. <laughs> so, now I'm convinced you're a vampire because you look exactly the same as you did when... You were kicking my ass in the game back in the day. Well, I won't give my secrets away. Ah, uh, yeah. Some of us here are getting old, especially my buddy Rob right here. He's always trying to look pretty old. Yeah, he definitely can. He definitely can use your secrets. So we'll start off with um, a little bit about yourself here. I told everybody here you're in Mortal Kombat three, Mortal Kombat four. 
and I believe it was the Mortal Kombat trilogy with Sub Zero, right? Yeah. Yes. Been in a few games. Been in a few games. Killer Instinct as well. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> that's exciting. I mean, <clears throat> I never seen the old school video I just showed, like the making of the game. I haven't, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, I <clears> love <throat> watching those videos. Uh, sometimes the new ones come up, and I haven't even seen them. It's been twenty five years, and there's so much footage out there I haven't even seen. Yeah, I seen that for the first time earlier. I was like, wow, that's 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 pretty neat. <clears throat> but I think the Shang Tsung with the weird black wig look kind of look kind of weird behind the scene there. Well, Shang Tsung's kind of weird anyway. So. Oh yeah, I was looking forward to meeting him at Comic Con at some point this year. Let's see if everything opens back up or not. That'll definitely be the thing. <laughs> so Mortal Kombat. So what was the, so you basically went in there? Yeah, you casted. You're going to be Sonya Blade, and they asked you if you have martial art experience. And I was a, I was a no apparently. So who, who taught you? You said that you, you wanted an extra person, you know, a, a experienced martial artist on stage to teach you things. Who was the martial artist that was teaching you? Well, before I went on tour, I had to learn some because, you know, we were doing fight scenes on the stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. So when I went on the live tour, we went to the, the Catskill Mountains and we trained for um, three months and it was 12 hours a day. Uh, Pat Johnson was my trainer. And do you know who Pat Johnson is? No. He was a choreographer for the Mortal Kombat movies. Um, I think one and two. Uh, okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Karate Kids. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's definitely someone to, to learn from. I had a really good trainer. <laughs> it looked pretty convincing doing the moves in the game, so I assume oh, yeah. you were you were, you were taught well. I've got it. background in gymnastics and boxing and all that, so. You, um, you mentioned wrestling, too. What kind of wrestling? Yeah, WWF wrestling. So I had a lot of fighting under okay. my belt, just not martial arts. Um, okay. I think before I did the tour, I had like a yellow belt and tank suit out. So. Yeah, I noticed on the... I just lost my little screen right here. Oh, here it is. Improvise. Improvise. So <clears throat> back when you were filming, see, when you started filming for your, your game, the technology was a little bit different. Now they have full-blown body sensors. I noticed back in those days, they actually used the actual video and the moves to program over the wire, the wire skeletons and actually did mm -hmm. <clears throat> the shooting compared to today. It's all just animated, but it's still human movements with sensors and body suits. But it's, it's a little more advanced now than it was back then. But I think the graphics and everything was much more cooler back then. Yeah, you can't really be putting actual people into the game, you know. Um, it's I don't know. It's it's fun to have actual people behind the characters. I think so. Yeah, so yeah, so you actually so you actually had no idea what Mortal Kombat was when you went and, and got called in for this. Um. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I I had just finished NBA Jam and Revolution X. Um, so I was okay. familiar with the technique and and how to shoot a video game, but. Um, you know, I heard of Mortal Kombat and stuff, but I didn't. It didn't really um, occur to me how popular it was until I actually did it. Yeah, Revolution X wasn't that the ACDC shoot the CD disc video game? No, no it was Aerosmith. Aerosmith, that's right. I said ACDC, huh? Yeah. Damn cannabis! I swear, it's awful. <laughs> Sometimes it's yeah. My short-term memory just goes <laughs> gone. So I assume now you've played Mortal Kombat a few times. Yeah. Correct. So mm -hmm. are you able to do your fatality with your character and all that cool stuff? Nope. No. No, I don't play. I don't. What? You play you play so many most recognizable characters in Mortal Kombat and you don't even play it. I don't know how to do the kiss of death or nothing. I know. I'm an artist. I'm just giving you a shit. <laughs> I'm a painter as well. Are you? Yes. Do you paint spooky stuff? Spooky stuff. I like painting um, Skyrim stuff and you know, medieval castle, you know, folklore kind of stuff. That's cool. So I definitely <clears throat> need to get into more painting since I moved to North Carolina from California six months ago. I painted a damn thing. Mm. I definitely need to, though. Yeah. <clears throat> so Mortal Kombat movies, which one do you like better, the original or the new one? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the original. You like the original, too? Yeah. I think I think I upset Chris last week. It is, 
I got ADD, ADHD, all sorts of weird shit. So I just say things, and I think about it later. I'm like, damn it, why did I say that? <laughs> but I told him, yeah, you know, I was asking him how was it actually, you know, working on the set there, Mortal Kombat, and I know damn well in my head that there was no hardly any green screen. They built all those sets, and I knew, I, I knew that you can, you can only look at it and tell. And so I'm sitting there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you know, all the green screens there, and blah, 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 blah. And he just, he just see his head go, like, he was just going to let me have it. And he's like, well, first of all, I was Scorpion. And I'll tell you what, all those moves were, all those moves were real. Those were sets. There was absolute, Scorpion was not on a green screen. So he, he just, he just let it rip. Hmm. Let it rip on me. So he was, he was, it was very intimidating to interview. I mean, like I said, really? I was, interviewed carol baskin and hey, his energy is just different well that and i was having terrible lag and issues here and i was having issues and he was telling jokes and i'm laughing at him seven what seven seconds later rob 10 seconds later <laughs> yeah <clears throat> and so i was you going get to, it? What's that? <laughs> yeah i was like huh <laughs> it was like 10 seconds later he's just sitting rolling his eyes and i'm going shit this thing isn't working right <laughs> but it was um it was you know, cool to be in his presence because there was so much history I had with my children watching the movie, and my buddy almost burnt my car to the ground. I went through, he installed my car alarm. We went and watched Mortal Kombat in the theater. He came out. I pressed the button, beep, beep, and my car started smoking. Nice. And so it was his fault. And he said, it was a piece of shit. It was both, you know, brick anyway. But it was, I only had the car for like two years. Such a dickhead, I swear. I hope you're listening, Greg, you're a dick. <laughs> yeah, Greg, what a dick. <laughs> Mortal Kombat 2, pretty awesome, but definitely the, the newer Mortal Kombat I thought was pretty neat. The Scorpion stuff with Lore was all cool. <laughs> the Kung Lao character just kind of ruined it for me. I just couldn't, you know, he's, he's an awesome martial artist and everything, but I, it, wasn't, it wasn't right. It just felt weird. His little, well, I'm Kung Lao. <laughs> it's like, really? Someone that ancient and, <clears throat> and a skilled fighter would talk like that? No. But that's just my overthinking. I think we should have had more Mortal Kombat movies in between. I mean, they went 25 years without having one. Maybe because the second one didn't do so well. I don't know. But, I mean, it could have been a build-up to this exactly. storyline. I, th I think I think part two was pretty cool for what it was worth. It had a lot more, you know, crunched into the timeline. Mm -hmm. That was, you know, was that a movie wasn't long enough to actually have all that content. It was a lot, but yeah. the sets and the effects and everything was awesome in it. Right. I like seeing the Cyrax and the robot ninjas. I really enjoyed seeing those in there. But um, yeah, I've been a Mortal Kombat nerd. I used to go <clears throat> ditch school in high school and go to the donut shop and the laundromat and play Mortal Kombat. Who's your favorite character? <sighs> Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Of course. See. I'm sorry. I know. You know oh, fuck. Well, you, know you told me to be honest. But I got, I got four other I guys in I got four other guys in here for the roundtable discussion. I'm sure they're all going to be on your side and team up and go against me. So you'll have a little army of darkness here shortly. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. <clears throat> so yeah, they're definitely, um, I heard they're definitely making the Mortal Kombat 2 with the, the more recent movie version. So I definitely look forward to seeing that. <clears throat> so you're also in... Video game with the god. What was that name? That was another game here. Was it, the, War the god. Yes. Bala. You see You're her lucky. Head? You're still looking for that thing. Still looking for it. Dang. Uh, you got a picture. Bad. You got a picture. You got a picture. We can show everybody. You can bring it up on your phone. Show up on the screen oh, here. But yeah. she definitely has a cool helmet when she was in that video game, and it's got it got stolen, and she's been looking for it. How many years? Well, I haven't been looking for it for 25 years, but it's been 25 years. I was actually just going through some photos okay. and um, I came across the uh, photos that I had. They were most of them were like Polaroids and it's probably like really far back. Oh, here it is. All right. She hasn't supposed to be looking for it all this time. Let me get your screen bigger here. All right. Anybody sees this helmet somewhere? I don't mean a cheap imitation on eBay. Give us an alert. It like only fits my head because my head was casted for it. All right. So if that doesn't, doesn't fit your head, then don't keep yeah. it and be Here, a look, hole. Let's call this and let's get me. it back to his honor. That's the artist right here. Wait. <laughs> oh, that's doing, that's doing the, the molding. Right here. 
Oh shit. Right and on. that's me with my my head in a plastic. Ugh. That would be weird doing that. People could have for masks and things. And I don't know if I can have <clears throat> be completely covered like that. That would drive me crazy. And that's the back of it. Oh, that's sick. That reminds me of Shokan. Definitely. I know. So I know. I didn't know who Shokan was then that day. <sighs> Another awesome villain. In the so movie. I put up a reward for it for like 250 bucks. You know, that's what it's worth to me. And it was just, you know, just to create some interest in people wanting to help me find it. Cause I figured maybe one person has like heard about the kid who stole the Vala helmet in 1996, but okay. nobody came forward. So, <clears throat> so. This is supposed to be a paranormal show, but very like very seldom does it go into that direction without. I think, I think it a this... demon stole it. Who? A demon. A demon stole it. Yeah. You never know. There was a bridge for you there. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have a scary story to tell us? You ever seen a ghost? You ever seen a little gray man? A little yeah. green man. A little green man. He looked like this. Yes. <laughs> Actually, he looked like Dick Tracy. He was like seven feet tall. Ew. <clears throat> That's kind of reminds me of Slender Man. Men, <laughs> men in Black slash Slender Man. Yeah. That's terrifying. So where did you see that at? Um, he kind of he he followed me around for. I'm gonna I'm gonna sound like a total wacko. By oh no! Even. Yeah, it's but, n- you're you're on the right show yeah. for it. So yeah, it's accepted. <laughs> you're fine. Um, it was something I just kind of ignored and it was always something I would see in the corner of my eye and I would turn and then he would be gone. But um, he followed me around for like 20 years and it seemed like he would come around <clears throat> if I was um, having problems with depression. So he kind of, he like thrived on my depression and I kind of got fond of him. I thought he was like, you know, my guardian angel or something. Um, but he was creepy. So I don't think an angel can be creepy, right? I mean, uh, angels are always in the light. He was always in the dark. So now that I look back, it's like probably not a good guy. <laughs> and yes, anyway, yeah. yes, the asshole has filled your helmet. Yeah. So, I mean, there was one time where I was falling asleep and I could feel him looking at me. And then I could feel the blanket going across my body. And then I woke up. And he was staring over me. Then I jumped up, and then he was gone. Ew. Yeah. How many? How many years? How many years did this go on? Um, he, it was just off and on. Like I wouldn't see him for like five years, and then you know I'd be battling depression or you know going through some shit, and and then he would show up, and it was mostly like when I was sleeping. No, that's 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 creepy. <laughs> Oh, wow. battling depression at the time he woke up at night and um i don't know if he had a scary dream or whatever he came out and he slept on the couch and my bedroom door was open so you could see like the shadows on on my door because it was a white door and my son looked into my bedroom and he saw this seven foot shadow on the door so he saw it and he told me in the morning and I said, what did he look like? Cause I never told my son what he looked like. And he told me and I was like, that's it. He's out of here. So I anointed my whole house in oil and told him to. And how, how long ago was this? When was the last sighting you had of that thing? Six years ago. Six years. So it's been cool for six years. Yeah. He won't be back. I know. That's, Cause I told that's, him. that's scary. That's, that's creepy. Wow. So, well, I assume I assume you do a lot of traveling for comic cons and shows. Do you have anything creepy happen or anything odd happen while you're doing your shows or on the way to the shows? I mean, like creepy fans doing weird things. To creepy, creepy fans, things that didn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're at a comic con. There's gonna be a lot of weird looking motherfuckers there. But well, has anybody, has anybody, he's has watching, anybody... And he's gonna think, oh, what I did was creepy. But you know, maybe <laughs> I should say something, you know, because I. I felt really weird. Has anybody, and, any, of all the actors and things you probably traveled with for the Comic Con, did any, any of them really creep you out, make you feel kind of weird? Like they're just so weird and you just can't place what's wrong. Just weird. 
artists are weird in general, so yeah, yeah, I'm used to it. I'm kind of weird. Maybe they all think I'm weird. No, you're, 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 yeah, maybe a little, not too bad. You did play, you did play in a video game, so that could be weird yeah. to some people. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Knock it off. My dog is running around knocking shit over. Knock it off. It. Let me see it. <laughs> she ran off. Come here, Brad. Come here. Half pit bull, half chihuahua. And I don't want to explain how that happened. <laughs> what? Come here. Come here, Brad. Come here. Oh, she got a piece of pizza. She ain't coming out for a second. You feed yeah. your dog pizza, huh? <clears throat> no, she went downstairs and grabbed it from somebody. I'm sure I'll hear a kid screaming or something happen here shortly. Pitbull. This gets pit bull and chihuahua. Was, was the, the mother the, the pit bull or the mother? The mother was the pit bull. The daddy was the chihuahua. How? Was um, she down? Or? Um, I, I, guess, I assume she was just a, a big bitch laying down there and he just ran up there being a chihuahua. And, That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. I've had a lot of people ask me. I want to see what it looks wow. like. What does a chihuahua in a pit bull mix look like? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Sorry. Wants to see this, I bet. Here it is. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? Eating pizza? You smell like pizza. Oh, there she is. She's actually cute. I'm. I'm actually that's, surprised. I thought it was going to be. She's a traveler, man. We um, traveled all the way from California all the way to North Carolina. Two kids, two dogs, two cats, all the way here. Wow. That was an adventure. But she was a road dog. She was there by my side the whole time and just ready to go. Wow. So, <laughs> so we're at the halfway point. We're going to go ahead and go to a quick little commercial thing here with um, Wrestle Shoot Radio, another podcast here on Off the Hook. And we'll be back here for the second half roundtable talk with the rest of my co host Carrie Ann, Sonya Blade, here on The Sanitarium. Congratulations! You have found Wrestle Shoot, hosted by the Wild Thing Rob Wilds and the ladies' man Chris Casanova. Combined, we have 40 years of wrestling experience, and we're here to share those experiences, stories, and knowledge with you over the podcast airwaves. We'll be joined by friends of ours from time to time to share their stories and experiences with you as well. So climb aboard the crazy train we call Wrestle Shoot. We know how to do it, and we do it real well. You're watching Wrangler Dave's Trailer Park. All right, we are back. I'd like to welcome Rob Wilds, the executioner. Holger. We got Tristan the Purple Sticky. We got the world's famous Jimmy Castle, aka the gay. Uh, was that uh, I didn't know we were doing a Zoom call. Uh, it's no Zoom. That's yes, I'm StreamYard. These are my co hosts. We do the round table talk, the second half of the show. That's right, my dear. You are very fortunate to be joined by us right now. I bet. I think it's the other way around. I can't wait for this. <laughs> I'd rather see her than your ugly mug. Oh, these right. are going to be your you're soldiers. The they're they're going to all turn on me tonight, and they're yeah, going to be on we all agreed. I thought we all agreed that Rob wasn't going to make the show tonight. Hey, wow. that <laughs> hurts my feeling. I only have one, you know. Everybody was on their, everybody's on their deathbed. Everybody's alive for this show. Everybody's too dead to do their podcast <laughs> all week. But yeah, we have Sonya Blade coming on our show. Then here's everybody. But we're Carrie, sure not here for you there. I got a question for you, Carrie. Yeah. Are you, are you feeling kind of sore tonight? Sore? Yeah. Oh, yes. Don't do it. Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just stop. I'm on, I'm on. Just, Jimmy, just be done do now, it. Jimmy. Because it must have hurt. Because it must have hurt when you fell from heaven. Oh, God. Oh, oh my was, God. That's Thanks, like that's like years old. People were using that back in the 20s. I'm so yeah, I've never heard that one. 
You haven't heard that one? I'm sure I've heard that a thousand times. Oh, she's heard it too. Rob, do you have a better one than that? Because that was absolutely terrible. I absolutely love you, and I will serve you for the rest of my dying days. That won't be very long. That's true. <laughs> See, it's a win-win. You get you get a, you get a slave, yeah. and I'll be dead soon. So, fucking everybody wins. Oh, Jeez. I get your contact info. I got some things for you. Me. <laughs> See, Jimmy, she wants my contact info. She left. Yeah, she's gonna send some bodyguards over to beat your ass. If I can film it and put it on YouTube. I'll take an ass whooping from a bodyguard or two if that's what it takes. Oh, I bet. Oh, here we go. Sound effects. Leather you love my sound, sound effects, effects, you old, old crabby fart. You, you, yeah. you're a genius. You're a podcasting legend. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm, I'm glad you can finally acknowledge that. Yeah, you're a hack. I think he's actually pretty good. Yeah, I ain't bad for a person who doesn't talk worth a shit and yeah, speech impediment and all sorts you're of things hack. going on. Shut up. I still, I still love you, but you're you're a hack. You're just this is Rob hack. Wilds. He was my first wrestling partner. Bottom right corner is the executioner. My second <clears throat> wrestling yeah. partner and the, the, did all the, the TV stuff back. with me. So I know these guys pretty well. He's pretty close to me. Jimmy Castle up there smoking the bong up in the corner. Known him for quite a while. Yeah, choke, motherfucker. Yeah. Bottom left is um John Wick. I mean Tristan from Purple Sticky. All right, buddy. Him and I'm him and Rick. Yeah, yeah, Scorpion hey, called him. Hey, hey, I, I hey Wrangler on. Dave is on, man. Get him Where's on. Where's he at? He said he's on. Oh, there he is. Hi, oh, Dave. There I am. What's hey, up? Sticky. Hey, Purple Sticky, you should be happy being called John Wick, man. That's a compliment. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, pretty look at his hair. That means that means you look like somebody else. You are an unstoppable bad motherfucker. You look like JC himself, brother. You like the Jesus, the sweet little (laughs) baby Jesus. Cute little stuffed animal you got back there. Oh, here we go, dude. Yeah, I always win him over with the Snoopy. I Casamasa noticed that last week too. Ah, I feel like that makes our fifth guest (laughs) who pointed out Snoopy. See now, Rob up, Rob up there has his his teddy bear and the wrestling belt next to him. That's his teddy bear. A foil covered chocolate belt. Yeah, Jimmy has white chocolate, motherfucker. What's your teddy bear? Is that the bong? There's Jimmy's. There's Jimmy's. T- oh, the guitar. All right. On display. Mine's a mine's a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dave's is just whatever the fuck that is back there. It's X one. What are you doing, fucker? Are you smoking a blunt? <laughs> I'm about to. All right, he's about to. Why don't you turn your microphone up a little bit? You won't have to deep throat it there, Chief. Hey, motherfucker. I'm just Maybe we like here. it that way. I was hearing some of that. Oh, wow. What did happen? Oh, wow. Hey, hey what are you doing after the show, Rob? You did that pretty well. I'm going to come see you, buddy. Thanks. I appreciate well, it. Welcome to that house, Carrie. It's yeah. Remember I mentioned the crazy sanitarium things going on? This is it. <laughs> question for Carrie. Where you at? Oh, All a right. question. Executioner. Yeah, I got a question for you. <laughs> now, when you was in that video, you know, how, how did that start for you to get into um, Mortal Kombat video game? So how did um, you get cast? I did a couple other video games before that. Uh, NBA Jam and Revolution X. So. Oh, NBA Jam. Okay. Yeah, they enjoyed working with me and knew I had some stunt work. <laughs> so they asked me to do Mortal Kombat 3 because they okay. were looking for a new Sonya. Brand new, brand new Sonya. They did a good job, way better than yeah. the original Sonya. You, you're better yeah. than all of them. <laughs> oh yeah, you kick ass. Carries the best. We've, been, we've been neglecting people who were writing their little comments in, but this one I love. Chris, I love that you started off with, "Hey, hey yo, <laughs> perfect." <laughs> <laughs> What's cracking, Leatherface? What's up, Chris? We have a bunch of the comments coming in here. Oh really, well, I, Jesus well, I Christ! All of them up on screen. You just haven't been paying attention. Hey Tristan, I'm here. Definitely called Jesus Christ right here. Oh, What's up, Roxy Red? <laughs> I'm always putting on a show. All right, we should ask her more questions. She's probably feeling mad awkward. No, she's fine. I, I'm not. I actually. think she's having a hell of a good time. She's actually I'm more than ready to solve one of you guys. A faggot. I'm just really disappointed. I didn't get the memo that I was supposed to bring my bong. Oh, 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 what? Oh. Hey, you know what? We oh, can take another face. commercial break. Yeah, we, we, all, we all need to take it. Take a shot. We all have a shot. <laughs> Let's have a shot. Tequila. Just Tequila. For Everybody, Tequila. come on. This is for uh, uh, right. off the Hook Network. All right, hey, can I have Hold on. on. All right, I got, I got my bottle. Who's going to do that one, asshole? Hold on. I don't have any all alcohol. Right. 
in my vicinity. Just right get your mom and shut the fuck up. your ass up and hurry up. Hold on. Drink your Carrie, bong. Carrie, you need your bong within reach. <laughs> you need to get your bong real quick. Yeah, yeah. Go get your bong. I don't have a bong. I just. Oh. You just got a little pipe or something. Vape. You need to, you need to get it. <laughs> Look, everybody agrees. Right there. I like my pre-rolls. Right, <laughs> me pre-rolls. too. Add a girl. I like my joints. They make me cough. I can't fuck with joints. They make everybody cough. It's supposed to. Yeah, because a bong never makes you cough. You crazy bastard. <laughs> you drink this Shut up. Crack pipe. <laughs> oh, you hit it like a bitch face. Hold on. Fuck you. Fuck Hold on. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> now, see, Carrie, if All I right. was your indentured servant, I would have a joint in hand for you right now. Uh, All right, you want to have the shots, right? Don't smoke, like Carrie. Carrie I don't right? smoke either. So, jo- pre roll right. joint or not, I hate to see this Forever. face every day. Just for oh. Carrie. What is that? For Carrie. Is that tequila? What you got? Whiskey. A whiskey. Ooh, Jack Daniels. Yep. This is Carrie, Harmony. aka Sonia from Mortal Kombat. Thanks for coming on. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Sonia Blade wins. Fatality. Yep, that was me. I like I like this little mixer. I can yeah, do that. I, I, I gotta go get my laundry and I'm on a motorcycle, so I'm gonna get pulled over on my bike. Nothing like alcohol. What? Who cares? Oh, yeah, no. You should ride your motorcycle on the G string down the street. Jimmy, how's gay Batman? Like 120. That's an idea. I'm gonna do that. How's how's gay Batman? Have you heard from him, or is he gonna make an appearance soon? Or <laughs> I'm not sure. Jimmy, you lying, you lying dog. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. You Just go to the gay cave just to work on his vehicles. You motherfucker! I swear, there's nothing gay about working on vehicles. Okay. Why were you wearing his helmet? Was it a bondage thing? Just be honest, man. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you got me. It was the bondage thing. All right, uh, here we go. So gay Batman <laughs> is, in fact, alive. Maybe. I'll tell you what. Oh, I, think, I think if gay Batman comes back, we can expect an appearance from gay Aquaman, is all I'm saying. <laughs> so, Carrie, my what? wife wanted me to tell you on Mortal Kombat, you're her favorite character. But next to Sindel, she got mad at me earlier. <laughs> I, I like the video. Oh, thank you. I saw a video. She got up and left. Mary. Is she and there? Let me talk to her. How you were get, how you got she's actually in the background. Got in her. What's your uh, name? Roxy. Hang on. Roxy. Roxy. I like Learn the video. The that Learn Learn the class class about day. How you got into the room? <laughs> um, she's busy. She's indisposed on the porcelain throne. Oh. Whoa. Well, that's an inconvenient <laughs> shit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, that hurt. <sighs> All right, reload. <coughs> Quick news flash. Here's a movie trailer from a new movie Rob Wilds is going to be in. <laughs> it's Rob Wilds in the Hunger World Days. Premiere. In a time yeah, okay. and place where kids were forced you to fight for survival. For Jesus, I'm just hoping when I lop this dude's filthy head off, his cock will be rigamortied for like 30. Food is sparse. <laughs> Jesus, I'm starving. <laughs> and so are the women. God damn it, Samuel. Yeah. See if you could cut that tree stump off and fit it up my anus. These are the <laughs> hunger gays. Oh, god damn, cock back with your spoo arrow and shoot it in me. Oh, coming this summer to theaters near you. God damn it, what are you doing in that tree? Climb down off that hard piece of wood and climb onto mine. Written by Suzanne Collins. Is that a bow and arrow in your pocket? Or are you happy to see me? Readapted by Amon Crossan. Take your filthy love weapon and stuff it deep inside my fight tunnel. The hunger Ooh. has been satisfied. Did it. <laughs> Welcome back. A little trailer from Rob Wilds up there in the corner. Hey, the star of the I film. Feel like, I feel like you're trying to make fun, dude. I'm very proud of that piece of work. That was a well yeah, made film. Is. <laughs> Rob's also starring in the Brokeback Mountain, the series, coming on Netflix. 
No, Go, dummy. Sorry, I tried out the for the back Mountain series. I mean, Brokeback Brokeback Mountain Mountain series. Sequel, not the series. Curious, like, what the hell are I just walking to now? They're talking about. Rugback Mountain. Now. Jesus, how do, how, do, how do we go from Mortal Kombat to Rugback Mountain? Keep a He's like, oh, you guys are a bunch of kids. <laughs> that's okay, you can laugh. If that's like what the, you like said, the same age. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of five-year-olds. She'd be dead on balls accurate. Wow. Shut up. <laughs> wow. You're fired. Rob's fired. You know what being dead on balls are. So does anybody have a legit question for her, or are we just going to talk about balls acts and... Brookback Mountain all night. You're the one playing. I got the, one. You're the one playing Shut the up. movie trailer. Shut up. Yeah, I actually had a question for, but uh, <laughs> oh, right. I don't know what happened. I don't know if you guys. Be nice. 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 Actually, like, auditioning for the movie. And stuff. I don't know if she auditioned, but uh, she was talking about how she went in and auditioned for the movie. Do you, do you still have that video? Uh, when, when I played in the beginning? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to see it again? Uh, yeah. Let well, yeah. me, me play that again. You always ask All questions. All right. Like that. Oh, All awesome. is part of it. Hold on. All right, Carrie, hold on. I got to show Dickhead the video. Great right question, quick. Jimmy. Fucking dummy. Well, the question. I know, what an asshole. Like, we already saw it. Like, we could ask her a better question. Yeah, so, dude. Yeah. You come up with, hey, can we watch her video while okay. we have a guest? Let's watch her video instead. Look, the question got <laughs> redirected. Video game. Do you like, did you like <laughs> try out for that? Come on, dude. All right. Hey, I have a, I have a question for you. Right, um, I'm going do you like it. being blonde? Do you want to stay out there? Let's oh, watch geez. a video. <clears throat> Tristan usually has the best questions. What do you want to ask Tristan? Uh, all right, all right. Now, uh, you, you bring the most professional what we questions. Saw in that one movie, wasn't that you? Uh, was any of that for the video game? I thought that was for the video game. I didn't hear the first part. Well, the video we saw at the beginning of the when the podcast started. Yeah. Uh, was uh -huh. that just for casting? I thought that was for the video game. Yeah. Um, the one of me being interviewed. <laughs> Not, like where it was just kind of like you at a photo shoot and all the different kind of like scenes we were seeing. It was oh, that was that was her shooting for the uh, for the game. Yeah, the fight poses. So and the they, green uh, top and uh, tight pants. Yeah. Yeah, the early, the early Mortal Kombat the game. The early Mortal Kombat combat series wasn't um, CGI based. It was more they, they filmed the actual person doing the moves and put over a wired so you have a skeleton okay, so and actually like usually a put them in there. Shoot to, for you for the video game. Sorry. Uh, it's maybe it's my speaker. Hold on. Roxy, why don't you come on over and say hi? She's right there. No, I was just, I was just saying. So she doesn't want to. Uh, a photo shoot for the video game, pretty much. Because direct TV stream. It was. We were actually shooting the game from the videos that you saw. We yeah. Shooting for about. the game. <laughs> because okay. they. They. Oh! Against a green screen and then put me right into the game. Uh, okay, so all right, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Fucking stoners, man. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, is that the no, video shoot? Is that a video shoot? No, damn shit. She was doing the fucking. Oh. <laughs> You're the idiot who's about to play. Shut the up, video, North Highlands. Play the video Shut again up. because and, uh, think number uh, one asked uh, you to. Here's Rob Wilds as the boogeyman. I like how she got picked up. I won't play the whole thing. Oh, Usually yeah, you really like that. That. That so, Carrie, I had a question I'd like to ask you. Do you have any future projects that you're working on? Is that Roxy? Yeah, that's my wife, Roxy. Hi, Roxy. So, fuck your question. We need we needed some more estrogen, so I asked you to come in. Yeah. <laughs> you asked for me to come in? Yes. Yes. I thought oh. Rob Wiles brought enough estrogen in here. I was listening to audio Sorry, and my husband's like, come here. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, she's a psychology major, so she likes listening to books and stuff as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. So do you have any future projects coming up? Um, right now, I am doing a lot of uh, appearances at Comic-Cons around the States. Um, next year, we're thinking about going to the UK, Ireland, Scotland. Um, lots of plans for the future. 
And um, as far as like project, yeah. can't really talk about that right now. Huh? AKA is top secret motherfucker. Can't tell you shit. <laughs> but I'd have I can to show you what I got today though. It's kind of exciting. You want to see? Yes. Yeah, sure. I got some stickers. So I had this artist create um, a bunch of like cartoons of all my characters. And then we made them into stickers and they just arrived today. So here's Sonia. Isn't that cute? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, cool. That's sick. And then here's Sonia MK4. Cool. Oh, sweet. Oh, shit. Um, here's the alternates, MK3 and MK4. Sweet. I like green. My wife said she likes the green one. Work it. Um, here's Kia. All right. And mythologies. Isn't that cute? That's awesome. Her little S and M outfit is this? <laughs> yeah. And then here's Mr. Taga. Oh wow. Yeah. Where, where do people get these stickers from? My website. Vala. What's your, what's your website? Vala. Yep. And that nobody, website address. Website. Website. So what's the My price of the stickers? Okay. What are the price of the stickers? Uh, six ninety five. <laughs> Six ninety five. Okay. Oh, hey, so bad. do me a favor. When you're in Scotland, um, see if you can stop by my family's castle. It's it located in uh, this town of Glemis. Uh, my family actually has a castle in Scotland. Glemis oh, just Castle. Just drop me a pen. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, oh, that's smacked. <laughs> Bye, Roxy. Bye, Roxy. <clears throat> nice meeting you. You too. <laughs> you, you, just be glad my four kids didn't try to cram in here to say hi. <laughs> You're already in, a, already in a tiny room. I didn't do that one, Rob. Yeah. Yeah, you I'm did. Literally, so, Terry, in case you're wondering where I'm at, I'm literally in a walk in closet, is my office. Nah, I knew it. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, the running gag is Dave oh, is in the closet. <laughs> Regular oh, Dave, the Trailer Park not, Podcast. That's not the running gag, buddy. Okay, <laughs> what is it? Thread you on Thursday, I think. Oh. We're available, we're available on Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, iHeartRadio pretty soon. <laughs> it's been pretty awesome. We're growing. Oh, this is X-ray. There can't be a so, kid on here. The lady yeah. we're talking to. What's going on? Yeah, we got some kids yeah. in there now. Holy shit. Sorry, my, my son wanted to come in and say hi. We got Harry. kids in Castle. What's because going on uh, he's a video game player. Come here. Hey, come back. What's come your back. name? What? Brian. Brian? Brian with an I. Hi. With an I. Oh, I was going to say oh. a Y. Um, how old are you? 12. 12. Do you play video games? Yeah. Do you remember me? Um, a little bit. Have She's you ever not. played MK3? Mortal Kombat 3? No. How about MK4? Yes. Yeah. You've yeah. played Mortal Kombat 4. Oh. Listen yes. to your father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's played the uh, 4 and then the trilogy because I have all that on on PC and Xbox. So usually when Mortal Kombat's involved on video games, that's me playing and I play uh, Sindel. Mm. See, he told you. Oh. Ooh, you're going to make me walk off stage I now. You're my friend. Yeah, that's well, two that's two whammies in the show. All of her power moves. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know Actually, stronger. wait, I do have. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. So go ahead. Sony will kick her ass all day. Yeah. Hey, Tristan has an idea. He's grabbing something. Ooh, can't wait. No. No. What's he getting? No. He's getting a uh, his Charlie Brown his Charlie Brown stuffed animal. Gosh, Cosmosy gave him so much shit about that. So here's I another. I didn't even think of this. Come here. Do what? you know? Hey, can you show doing. show uh, Hi, Terry sweetie. real quick? Do you, so do you know who this is? What's the What's the only video game you play with me and your brother? Mortal Kombat. Say it louder. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I didn't even remember this. <laughs> There's a. She's the girl from Mortal Kombat. Did you play Sonya? This is This is the girl who's here. Stand up so she can see. You. Hi. Sonia, remember the blonde hair player, the girl? That's that's who Sonia is. That's the real life Sonia. She's from the original movie. You want to say hi? I didn't even I didn't even put that together. So yeah, I guess I What's am a stunner. I was like, the, she won't play video games, but she's like, I will dominate Mortal Kombat. <laughs> All right, What's so I want you to say hi, okay? Okay. 
Very Who's cool. Asking, Wait, I want to talk her to name. her. Oh, she wants to talk to you. Come here. What's her name? She wants to know what your name is. What's your name? Acacia. Acacia. What? Acacia? Yes. Um, how old are you? Seven. Seven? Let me see your fist. Okay. Now. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> Do you want to ask her any questions? You don't know any? Oh, don't be shy. You want to say it was nice to meet you? It was nice to meet you. All right. Remember, you got to tell your dad that you had to take karate classes so you can beat up all the boys. What? She said, remember to tell me to take her, or tell you, tell me to get you into karate classes to beat up all the boys. Right. <laughs> she wanted me to right, say that bye -bye. thing to you about that place. You know you what I mean? Me? Yeah, that place. That you know where? Yeah, yeah. That gimmick. Yeah, gimmick. Okay. I didn't put that together. That was Jerry, awesome. This is my special needs boy. His name's Wyatt. He hasn't gotten a chance to play, but he wanted to say hi. Say hi, hi Wyatt. Wyatt. Hi. How old are you? Eight years old. Eight years old. Oh my gosh. Last time I, I thought you were my 10. Birthday last time and I turned in eight years old. First I was seven, now I turned in eight that last time. When I was very, eight. very detailed. And then now my friend <laughs> has a birthday that it's coming up next. And, and now you're going to be the same age? You're talking about your sister? Lori? My friend. Oh, your friend's birthday's coming up? Yeah. Are you the same age? Are you guys the same age? No, she is nine years old. She's going to be two. That's how old she is now. Okay. Is she your friend or your girlfriend? Is she your friend or girlfriend? Friend. Friend? Oh. Yeah. The microphone's right there. You got to talk right there. No, oh, no, his girlfriend friend is nine a, years old. His girlfriend yeah. was the fourth grader that was in his class, but now she's a fifth grader. Oh. So, do yeah. you, when, when you arm wrestle, who wins? His he, class he is older women. He digs the older women. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, come on, man. Get your ass out of here. See you, buddy. Oh. Say, hey, wave bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> now we've bombarded bye -bye. you with our children. Bye-bye. And that concludes this week's episode of Romper Room. we <laughs> <laughs> got two more if you want to meet them. Nah. Nah, we're running out of time. We're running out of time, guys. We're running out of time. He's running out of room. <laughs> yeah, out of room. literally. So, um, oh, hey, th thank you, Carrie. Um, that was pretty cool for both of them boys. Oh, no problem. So, it's like an online Comic Con here. Th we're, thanks, we're, everyone, right? for keeping it PG for my uh, smalls, man. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was so yeah. hard to do because we're, we're such dirt bags, you know. We constantly <laughs> swear in front. That was of weird. Floor. All the smoke suddenly cleared. Kids yeah, yeah. everything was gone. We all went from like their shots to away adults, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they hear worse from me here at home, so trust and believe that. Um, all of a sudden, you just hear me screaming, K Fabe! The kids are <laughs> K Fabe! K Fabe! <laughs> gotta, gotta put on the poker face. Huh. Oh, jeez. So, I yeah, being at your in WWE, WWF, WWE. That's what I was gonna um, ask. Did you say yeah. you were in WWE, FG? Um, I was on a team of girls back when I was like ugh, 19, 20 years old. Yeah. And we toured around Minneapolis. And what we did was we would start out boxing. And then I was the heel. And I would get pissed off because I would start losing. And I would throw my gloves off. And then we go into WWF wrestling. Nice. Nice. Sweet. Nice. So, yeah, it was a great time. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do with you, X. I'm going to start off that. slapping you around. Then I'm going to teach you how to wrestle. Yeah, motherfucker. I'm going to take you to school, motherfucker. Hey, we'll see uh, here we go. Oh, well, yeah. We'll yeah. see who goes to school, bitch. Hey, These guys were here Carrie, fucking arguing. I wasn't hey, even in the Carrie, chat room. Carrie, there. Here they go again. Would, yeah. you, would you be my manager, Carrie? Oh, God. I need a manager myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Since you don't want to walk to the ring with <laughs> you, because she knows you're going to lose. Nah. Eh, I shouldn't walk to the ring with you, because you're ugly. No one wants to back a loser. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. Yeah. All right, this isn't wrestle it's shoot. No more wrestling. One, two, three. I got you, motherfucker. <laughs> wrestling question over. The last wrestle Comic shoot Com radio Last Comic Con, that I had, they let me in the ring and we did a couple moves. Well, Good I got night. to like beat him up and 
<laughs> it was fun. Oh, yeah. It's always fun well, back in the ring. This show has went a lot more similar than the last one. Like I said, Chris, you read the shit out of me the whole time. Castle's muted. <laughs> Is he? Yep. Good. He's just there stroking himself his beard. Better that way. <laughs> he's always better that way. <laughs> Rob, he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm like, what the fuck? You think you yeah. got any things I haven't seen before, Squinty Eyes? Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. All right, yeah. Hey, Kay, I want to show you a video. My buddies here swear it's CGI. I've been studying this guy's stuff for a while. It's pretty neat. And it's really supposed to be chasing and filming pixies or something. It's really neat. I want to show you. I want your opinion. Shut up, Tristan. He's already shaking his head. <laughs> it was the first right. yeah, CGI. Yeah, shut up, Tristan. <laughs> Right, Shut I'll up, quiet. dickhead. I'll keep quiet. All right, I want to play it. All right, here we go. There's one just up here. See him? Just that was it. Just there. Ah, oh, he's gesturing to somebody. Just take a look around there. Where is he? He's up here somewhere. There he is. There he is. Gesturing back again. What are they doing? He's. Where's he gone? He's gone. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's going as well. So, yeah, I think it's trippy. <clears throat> Tristan's like, oh, that's CGI, right off the damn bat. I mean, it's, it it, like the CGI is pretty, pretty good. Things, dude. That's pretty good CGI for a, a 80 year old man out in the middle of nowhere. Well, I'll, say, nice I'll say this on the video. Uh, you believe that that's real. I got a really nice bridge for sale, brother. You want to get a piece yeah. of it? What is it, a Golden Gate? There's no bridge because it's fucking fake, dummy. Your you face is a bridge, you shit shithead. You brownies, really shut man. up. I was waiting real. for Willow to pop up on the screen next. Yeah, Tom Cruise Round to jump two. out. Fight. I think it would be better if you said like oceanfront property in Arizona or something. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but the bridge it. for sale is just so universal that I thought everybody knew. Dude, it. your butthole's you a bridge. Name a bridge though, because like San Francisco Bridge or something like that. Because everybody know, has everybody else it. heard that reference. The Golden Gate Bridge for sale. It was just Kelly who didn't yeah, get. Yeah, it, keep right? flapping your hands around there, Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons. <laughs> All right, Jesus. Well, great. Keep doing this, you're gonna fly away. Leather fake. Leather fake. <laughs> leather, leather fat, leather fake. I've heard them all. Yeah, for me <laughs> on the last show. Shut up. I was I apologize. I was being a little ruthless to you on the last show. Yeah, when you're being you're being rude in front of a lady right now. So you're being a dickhead. No, oh, you're being, actually you're well behaved compared right. to last week. He said, you were a dickhead you last a week. Hanky, dude. He's, he's like, all asking Chris. Like, yeah, I think I could be a Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh god, here he goes. Yeah, you'd be like, like one of those Mortal Kombat <laughs> characters that you actually get to make and create your own character and just throw like this this must special outfit on. That'd be. Dude, I am my own character. I don't know. Who, I don't. Know who you think you're talking? Oh god, about. you must. Yeah, you're definitely, you're definitely am, a character. Brother. Carrie, you think you're coming on a sanitarium with all this these crazy assholes and myself? It's, it's been awesome refreshing. having you on. Yeah. Very different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we try to have fun and be different every episode. This, you know, it's and it's, now it's imagine, a fun thing. Imagine poor Carol Baskin sitting in your spot with us lunatics babbling the way. Oh from man, she's like Carol Baskin really just good. staring at the screen. <laughs> See the Carrie, we call it the sanitarium because now the inmates are running the asylum. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Rob's Rob's moving right next. Our moving right next door to her, so he pisses He's me off. Right I'm just gonna fucking feed her ass to the feed his ass to the tigers. <laughs> All right, Carrie Ann, Sonia Blade, Sanitarium. Thanks for coming on. The Sanitarium. Shut up, Rob. What? Eat my hole. I didn't even fucking say anything. Well, I just said earlier in case you were going to say something. Thank you, Carrie, for coming on. Thank you. Nice. We off the hook. Off the hook.